Okay, so today we have the Pokemon pack from the McDonald's Happy Meal. Um, it's supposed to include four cards and a coin and a spinner, so I guess we'll see what's inside. Let's open this up here. So, inside we have a lot of stuff. We have like an actual pack of cards, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, you can see there it says four, and this is like an actual, presumably, like official trading card game pack. And it kind of makes you wonder if it has that little code for the digital game. Uh, probably not, but I guess we'll see. And then by spinner, I don't know how to describe this thing. It just sort of, like it, it's it's a spinner with just like different symbols on it. I don't know if this is used for something in the game, or if this is just, like, height increase, or distance increase, I don't know. Law and Order, I, it's just, a like, a spinner that has Smeargle on it. Oh yeah, the box has Smeargle on it. There was a bunch of different boxes, I got this one. Um, this is the supposed coin, it is made of cardboard, which is kind of lame, because usually they're made of, like, plastic, but I mean, it's just a McDonald's thing, so... I don't expect anybody's going to be using this to actually play. TGC anyways. I mean, I'm going to, but... I mean, I barely play TGC anyways. Actually... Hang on. Okay, sorry. I'm just reading this book. I'm gonna read this more. There's like a special... Oh my god, wait. No, this is a unique game. Match battle is a thing. Hang on. Okay. So, I don't know how well you can read this, but... Hand each player a card. Max four players per pack. So, I'm assuming you could just use regular TGC cards. Youngest player goes first, then goes clockwise. Flip a coin to see whether high or low wins. Spin to choose category. Oh, wait. There's the, the other two. And then this is... I'll try to scan this and upload it as a PDF if I can. Um, so that's all like the different stuff. So, for example, Pikachu plus Pokeball. All players reveal the number from their card that match the chosen category in the spinner. Remember, the highest or lowest number wins a prize point depending on the coin field from step two. Tied players all get a prize point. The first player to win three prize points wins. That's actually pretty cool. They've actually given you a game you can play with only four cards. And if you spin, then direction of play is reversed. How do you mean direction of play? Does each person like, just spin the spinner? Because this doesn't really seem like a... Like, it seems kind of unnecessary for a neat, each person to do this, because it's just a random chance game, but I mean, whatever. Okay. That's that's actually really cool, though, that they give you an actual game you can play with just this. That's super neat. Alright, so let's see what, what cards we got. Oh! I said this felt like an official TGC pack. It does not open like an official TGC pack at all. TCG, Jesus. It's like paper. Like, the inside of this is like paper. The outside feels like plastic. It's... The inside is... Okay. So how does this work? We have to, like, take the back two cards. I think that's all we do in official packs. Okay. So. We got Rowlet. Chinchu. Flaffy. And Beware. The best Pokemon, by the way. Look at that. 130. That's great. Anyways. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to do a video playing this game now. Because that's actually super neat that they've given you a game. I'm, that's really cool. So they've given you four cards that you can just use as cards. And they've also given you a game you can play with them. That's super neat. I'm going to force my friends to stream this game at some point. That's actually really cool. Wait, so I get it. Hang on. Based on the symbol... Oh, I see. Okay, so it's like, it, it, that's what the back guide is. So, you can't read that. Hang on. So, like, each of the symbols are, like, the thing. So, like, hit points, height, weight, or, sorry, weight, uh, yeah, for some reason, height is, yeah, so it's, like, weight, height, their number in the, like, I don't even know, what is that number? Is that, like, a, is that a model number, a serial number? Number 760, is that like the Pokedex number? It might be. Hey Google, what's the 760th Pokemon? On the website Cerebi.net, they say Galissapod number 
I don't think that's the number, is it? Hey Google, what's Pokemon 760? Oh, okay, well, that's kind of neat. I didn't know that. Shh, shut up. Um, <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Um, yeah, Pokedex number, height, and card number. Oh, like in the... Yeah, because they have like these like series numbers for the cards. Okay, cool. That's actually really neat. I mean, I still see no reason. One of these is literally just change directions, and that literally doesn't matter because it's completely random chance. You spin a spinner and then flip a coin. But, well, technically you flip a coin and then spin a spinner. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. That's actually... Okay, I only have a little bit of recording time left, but this is actually really cool that they made a game that was playable with just four things, or four cards, and they're also just real cards. So yeah, this is everything. Um, here's pictures of the manual if you need to see it. I don't know how visible these will be in like 720p quality, but whatever. There you go. If you want to play this game, all you need is like just a six-sided spinner and a coin, essentially, and four cards. It's a very simple game.